Hi folks, Dr. Brad Sump here, the host of the Busyness TV show on busyness.com. This is the show dedicated to helping you to get out of busyness and get down to business. Today's episode is brought to us by listping.com. Listping is an email management and autoresponder service that will help you to grow large responsive email lists at low effort. It will also allow you to email and communicate with folks to develop relationships with your most prized prospects and customers. You can create an account right now for only one dollar at listping.com. Now in today's episode I'm going to talk about video leverage. Then I'm going to talk about your reaction, a symptom of busyness. And finally we're going to talk about no excuses, a big lesson from Disney. It's now time for our unload segment. This is a segment in which we talk about unloading your plate by unloading actions through leverage, outsourcing, automation, and delegation. Today we're going to talk about leverage, and specifically something that I call video leverage. And simply put, this means that whenever you record a video, whether it's for your business or for home, do so with multiple reasons or multiple outputs uh, in mind. Okay, so what do I mean by that, by multiple outputs? Here's the deal. If you're a businessman or woman and you're going to record a video, you're going to spend the time to come up with a script or uh, just wing it and actually take the time to turn a camera on, don't just record a video for video's sake. Figure out what you can actually do with that video for in two or more ways, right? So, number one, you, you could record a video and distribute it to YouTube. That's great. You could also record a video and, rec and submit it not only to YouTube, but tens of other video sharing sites. Now, what if your video is longer? What if your video, hmm, let's say, is like an hour long, like Busyness Live? Now, if you haven't joined me, every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, we hold an event called Busyness Live that you can come interact with me, and I'll answer your business questions, and we have a good, fun, interactive time. But that hour-long video serves its purpose for interacting with folks like yourself and providing value back to the community. But then behind the scenes, that video is chunked out. Sometimes, take a look at this, in the screenshot I'm showing you here, this is one of the first uh, Business Live videos, that uh, webinar events that I ever shot, and we chunked it out into over 20 different video segments, which then can all be distributed or leveraged, repurposed, right? I can take each of these videos and have them t transcribed. So now all of a sudden I can create articles from uh, the videos. So just think about that. Anytime that you take action, think about how you can make it work for you in two or more ways. That's what leverage is all about. And it, video leverage is an awesome way that you can take advantage and leverage your actions in your business. It's now time for our All BS segment. This is a segment in which I just spout off about stuff. I talk about BS. So in today's segment, I want to talk about something I call your reaction. Now your reaction is what, I, what I'd like to refer to as a symptom of busyness. Because if you're mired in busyness and you're performing uh, less than your, your own expectations or the expectations of somebody else, you most likely have stress and pressure. Maybe it is, you know, you're showing up late for things. Maybe you just can't get something done at work and it's really starting to weigh on you and, and weigh you down, right? You'll see this where when something happens, your reaction is a telltale sign, very often a telltale sign of whether you're in busyness or not. Because if you're not in busyness and you're laid back and things are smooth sailing, most of the time you'd be more inclined to just let things roll off your shoulders, right? Let that water roll off your back like, a, like it does on a duck. Now, if you're mired in busyness, people's fuses get really, really short. Okay, now I, by nature, am very laid back, and that helps, that helps here. But I have to admit, you know, there's still times, busyness is a transformation. It's not a black and white thing where you're, you're either in busyness, and then you're boom, all of a sudden 100% out, you're always transforming. So there's pieces of my life too that I'm still working on. And take a look at this video, this is from the other day, when I was taking my daughter, now you remember I have five children, and I was taking my daughter to her softball practice. We have three kids right now in softball or baseball. And we were running right on time. 
And here we are sitting at a light, an entire light, an entire light was green and the one car in the front of the line did not make it through that light. When we're right on time, you can imagine that my blood pressure, my heartbeat just rose a, a little bit. Now, what I did instead here is because I looked at that and said, wow, what a lesson this is. And I grabbed the camera just so I could share this with you. But think about that. It's your symptoms. What are your symptoms of being in busyness? And one of them is very often how you react to things. It's now time for our design for action segment. This is a segment in which we take a look at how you can take control of your actions and stop allowing them to control you. And you do that by taking a proactive approach to design your actions. Don't just let the days happen. Take hold, grab them, and design your actions. You take control. Don't let them control you. Now, one of the things I want to cover here is a very cool thing. A couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to spend some awesome time with Carrie Wilkerson, who's also known as a barefoot executive, a very close friend of mine, Carrie. Hello, um, hope you're doing awesome. She's got an awesome thing going on right now called Filling, Filling My Stadium, I think it is. You're gonna definitely wanna check that out. Um, but uh, you know, Kira had the opportunity to participate in her mastermind group a few years ago, and I reconnected with them just a few weeks ago here in Orlando on a backstage Disney business tour. Now, one of the things, we weren't really able to take a, a lot of pictures at this, uh, but in one of the areas, and it was actually the Epcot backstage area where all the cast members cr come in and get their uniforms, uh, put on you know, their costumes, they're called, um, you know, and so forth. And it's an awesome, awesome area. Well, one of the things that's in there is a vending machine, and they call it their No Excuses vending machine. And this was awesome because what was filled in it, it's just like this vending machine you see right here, except it had a different stuff in it because I wasn't able to take a picture of it. But in it, it had things like black stockings. It had uh, hair gel, deodorant, makeup. I mean, anything that you could think of from a, a cast and crew perspective, right, that the cast would need in their daily operation, right? So there's no excuses here, folks. You forgot socks, go get it out of the no excuses vending machine. Need something to comb your hair, to put deodorant on, go get it out of the no excuses vending machine. Wow, is this awesome. What a lesson here from Disney. Now that's a vending machine, but how, do, how can you apply this to your business? How can you position things in your environment or make sure that you are equipped properly so that when you need something, it's there and you don't have to you know, venture out go away from the task at hand and get lost in meaningless action. So think about that. What is your equivalent of, a, of Disney's no excuses vending machine? I'd love for you to scroll down and give me a comment. Let me know. What can you think of in your life or in your business that would equate to D Disney's no excuses vending machine? So that wraps up our show for today. I'd like to thank you very much for being here with me at the Business TV Show. I'd like to welcome you back each and every Thursday to come back, spend it with me, these few minutes of the show. Your viewership is much, much, much appreciated. And I'd love to remind you to register, if you haven't already, for show notifications. Every Thursday we'll notify you when a new show is released and you can do that by visiting busyness.com and downloading our free business manifesto document and thereby you'll be registered to our newsletter or go to iTunes and subscribe to us at iTunes. I'd also like to remind you to register uh, as a friend to like us at facebook.com forward slash busyness TV. And as always, please, I welcome your comments. I welcome your input. I would love to engage with you by you know, scrolling down and commenting and or visiting us on Wednesday nights. Come join it with me in, in our weekly busyness live event every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. So with that, thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you again right here next Thursday on the Busyness TV Show. Take care. Bye-bye.